everybody. What do you say to that? Why do I have such a problem with people that ride bicycles? I think it's probably because I'm like jealous I don't do it. I'm nowhere and anywhere near as good a shape as those guys are. <laughs> I think it's a jealousy issue. Anyway. Let's forget about the clash of bikers that we just saw. I like to call them, I like to call them acoustic bikers. I don't know why. All right, I think I've got it running good now. Welcome back to me and my shadow. How the heck's everybody doing today? My name is Tim, and this is my shadow. <sighs> it's a, another beautiful Friday morning. Temperatures are finally starting to calm down a little bit here in Texas. And I hope this video is finding everybody well, as usual. Oh. So this would be my second week with my riding jeans. Thought I'd give you guys some reports on how I like them so far. And I gotta be honest with you, guys, I love them. So I do have a topic today, believe it or not. So I was going to put my helmet on and typically when I ride, I don't ride with uh, my glasses on. But today, if you can see, I got them on. And what I was finding is that as I get older and um, I tend to rely on my glasses more and more and more, it was getting to the point where I know I need to wear them while I'm riding. And I was like, well, it's, it's a pain in the butt because this helmet fits kind of tight and now I'm gonna have to figure out how to get these glasses on and get them over my ears. I'm real anal about my glasses for some reason. I can't stand when they get dirty. Um, and basically glassing, wearing glasses, basically wearing glasses just sucks. What are my two options? Don't ride anymore or adapt and change. So of course I adapt and change, right? The uh, thought of not riding because I can't get my glasses on on my helmet is, well, it's just downright ridiculous, right? Ahead and shoot this video in regards to older riders and comfort. Comfort isn't such a big deal. Of course, everybody wants things to be as comfortable as they possibly can be. I don't care what your age is. You're not gonna, you know, wear underwear with spikes in it or anything like that, right? So, what are some things that we can do as older riders? to get ourselves more comfortable on the motorcycle. Because let's face it, the older we get, the less we have tolerance for pain. Okay, again, just speaking for me, the older we get, the less tolerance I have for pain, and the more I want comfort, comfort, comfort. But I also want to be able to ride. Gosh, guys, I feel this motor today. It's just killer. So nice to be out here. Sorry. I know I'm easily distracted. So the first thing you want to do is go out and test ride as many motorcycles as you can to find the one that's going to fit for you. And I would even suggest honestly renting a motorcycle if it's within your means to do so, so that you can actually take it out on a little bit longer ride than just a ride at the dealership. Pay attention to certain things like the positioning of the and the shape of the handlebars, the seat, your your feet position, are your your feet going numb or your hands going numb? Does your back begin to bother you after a certain amount of time in the saddle? 
And now there are definitely adjustments that can be made to the motorcycle. Uh, you can put risers on the bars, you can get different handlebars, you can get different grips. You can even change your foot position by adding highway pegs, things along those lines to help that situation out. But the overall riding position is so important. I like to, I'm more comfortable when I sit upright and with my feet out in front of me, kind of like I'm sitting in a chair, right? So riding position and reach and comfort are going to be so important because those things can distract and take away from the important things like watching all this traffic out here right so those that's number one i would think for riding comfort number two would be and anybody that has been a member of my or a member a subscriber to my channel for a long time knows this let's talk about the seat now the Honda Shadow 750 is the only thing I can really compare with right now but I can tell you that the stock seat that comes on the Honda Shadow 750 was fine for me for a long time and I was younger when I got it but as I got older I got more and more complaints from the well the Department of Ass I started getting notifications that were at first kind of polite you know hey uh, what's going on up there um, we're a little cramped down here to more memos from the Department of Ass saying things like we didn't receive a reply to our previous correspondence to you and now we're wondering if you're listening to us when that notification was disregarded the ass department got serious and said well we're going to apply a little bit more pain and pressure to your lower back and your posterior to see if you're really listening and believe me at a certain point <clears throat> I listened and also uh, my wife rides with me sometimes and the pillion seat on the stock seat for the Honda Shadow 750 really wasn't working for her either we're both the same age uh, she's three months older than me um, she's 58 going on 59 as well so if you want to watch a excellent video about changing seats you can go back and check in my videos there's something um, really good out there but long story short if your butt's sending you complaints it's time to look into a different seat believe me when you can get out on the bike and ride for hours on end and not have any discomfort whatsoever from sitting on the bike for a long time and your lower back or your butt then it's worth it so seat is really important and I'm just here to tell you uh, by example, don't ignore the ass department. The ass department's kind of like the IRS. You can ignore them for a while, but eventually, eventually, they'll get you. And they and and the ass department, my ass department, got me. That's for sure. So, now let's talk about. Oh man, this is a long light. Oh well. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Alright, let's talk about gear. The elephant in the room. The one that's so subjective everybody has an opinion on. And believe me, I have my own opinions on gear. Let's talk about it. So, you, at a minimum, you want to have a good helmet. You also want to have good gloves and a good riding jacket or a good armored summer shirt, depending on the climate that you're living in and the time of year. And my gear changes. I have these gloves on, which are summer gloves, and I just absolutely love them. But in the wintertime, I've got a thicker pair of almost like gauntlet gloves that I wear because I got tired of my hands freezing. 
because I don't have a fairing to protect any of myself from the wind. And, you know, the gear you get is going to be based solely upon your own personal preferences. Uh, without getting into huge detail and opening up a can of worms, I will say there are those that will never wear a full face helmet. I've already gone ad nauseum into reasons why you need to wear a full face helmet. And I've also tried riding with a half helmet. It's a weird, cool experience, but it's not very safe. That being said, finding the proper helmet for yourself is difficult. You can spend a lot of money on motorcycle helmets. I mean a lot of money on motorcycle helmets. One suggestion I would have is go to your cycle gear or go to your local bike shop where they do sell quite a variety and a different, type, different types of helmets. Try them on. Now, cycle gear is, in my opinion and my experience, has been really good as far as being able to have someone there that can kind of guide you, especially if you're not used to helmets, how it should fit, how you want it to fit, what the ins and outs of each helmet are going to be. But find yourself a good helmet. In, in, in my case, it took me several tries. Some people like modular helmets. That's where the whole part of this will flip up in the air. Uh, I don't have, I do have a modular helmet, but I don't wear it anymore. I've got this helmet now, which is full face and it doesn't, it's not modular. But no matter what you choose, it's super important because especially if you do take the plunge and you're going to go full face. If you're going full face, it's got to have the right ventilation in it. Okay, you've got to have enough ventilation to get some air coming to you and also to stop, help your, uh, your windscreen on your helmet from uh, fogging up, right? Gloves, make sure they fit you well. Make sure they're not too tight on your hands. And more importantly, make sure that you have good mobility, that you can grab the clutch, that you can grab the front brake when needed. All those things are super, super, super important. What I like about these gloves is they, they don't take away, they have all the protection, they have the knuckle protection, they have the skid protection on the palm, but in the fingers themselves, they still have a sense of touch. You know what I mean? They're not so insulated that you can't feel what you're touching with your fingers. And to me, that's vitally important. Jackets. Make sure you get something that has a, if you live in a climate that changes, which most of us do, make sure you, and you plan on riding in the winter time, and you can ride in the winter time, at least on nice days, make sure you get yourself something that has a zip out liner in it. Um, it's, you can, it's something that you can continue to wear uh, into the early spring and summer. Again, well ventilated. I choose the Icon jacket and the main reason I choose the Icon jacket is because it has what's called D30 armor. D30 armor um, is a specific kind of armor that is very soft and pliable. I'm going this way. It's very soft and pliable until there's an impact and if there's an impact it hardens instantly. So it's good stuff and that's what I do is I have this summer shirt as well for the Texas heat and what I do is I change my armor out. I take the armor out of my jacket when I'm going to be using my riding um, shirt and put it in here because it affords the best protection. So just some comfort tips guys. Just some things that'll that'll help you minimize frustrations when riding. And I think from a safety standpoint, honestly, a windscreen's the way to go. And there's so many different ones to choose from. So I guess my point is, is that you can get out there and you can try all different types of gear. You can get out there and you can try all types of different motorcycles. You can get out there and you can try all different kinds of add-ons, different windshields, different things like that. But spend some real time with it until you get into your comfort zone to where you're as comfortable as you can possibly be while riding the motorcycle. You'll thank yourself for it. Believe me, you'll thank yourself for it. Well, shoot, they got old Denton Road closed down. So we're gonna take a left this way. So 
So leave a comment and let me know what you guys have done as far as your to help your comfort riding. What have you done that you think was the worst thing you've ever done? Because believe me, I've done some bad ones. Go back and watch my video on the time I decided that hand grips that were metal were awesomely cool because it's called no more skulls or done with skulls or something like that go back and watch that video that was a bonehead maneuver i spent some money on those grips and ended up tearing them off because my hands froze in the winter time even through my insulated gloves all right guys that's all i got but make sure that uh, in just in closing make sure that your comfort level is taken care of i mean you only you only live once and if you're going to do this sport this hobby whatever you want to call it this lifestyle just make sure that you're doing the best you can to stay as comfortable as possible you're you're you won't get any complaints from the past department like i explained and you also will just enjoy the ride more that's all I got. You guys take care. Have a wonderful day. More to come soon on the channel. And uh, this is Tim with me and my shadow. Everybody take care. Ride safe out there. We'll see you soon.